So um, today I've been uh, doing a few odd jobs. I've managed to fix my two CCTV cameras that were playing me up. Um, this one here wasn't working at all, and that one there for some reason was in black and white. But I've that was a loose cable in the back of the DVD-R, and and that when I pulled the cables apart, put them back together, it decided to suddenly go colour again. So I've got good surround coverage of my van. Um, I'll add a little clip in at the end of this um, this video of something that happened um, a few days ago where uh, I was actually parked up in this place uh, about nine o'clock in the evening and somebody pulled alongside. Now I'd seen this this person once before as it turns out but at the time I wasn't sure who it was and I actually thought it was a lady I'd um, spoken to previously from the Forestry Commission really nice lady when I looked at the footage for some reason with my dodgy eyes the outline of this guy looked like a, a woman with blonde hair so I got out of the van thinking it was her I was about to speak to but it wasn't but, uh, but anyway the point of today's video is tuning the Chinese diesel heater. So, if you're lucky enough to have one of these with the six blades on the fan, so if you look just there, if you've got six blades there, this is how you tune this diesel heater. So, we'll go into the settings to that point. Now, the code for these is 16. 88 so now what you'll see is my pulse rate in Hertz so the fuels pumping in at 1.4 Hertz on the lowest setting and on the highest setting I've got it down to 3.8 I believe they come 1.8 and 5.5 or 5 something like that Hertz on the um, as a standard setting now now each heater is different this will just do a reset in a minute because I've not saved it so so basically um, what you do is you reduce the pumping of the fuel to the point where you lose one of these red bars and that tells you that either you're not getting enough fuel into the heater or the fan may well be blowing too fast for the heat that it's generating so it's like a combination so um, when you get down to using a certain amount of fuel less than what's programmed eventually you'll find that the um, fan blows too fast and doesn't pick up enough heat that's why you lose the red bar so it's a combination of the two so like I've just shown you I've got it down to 1.8 um, sorry 1.6 no what was it 1.4 do you know what my memory is terrible let's go back in and Yeah, 1.4 so I've seen somebody go down as low as 1.2 but I'm happy at 1.4 and the upper limit is 3.8 and I've seen people get that down to 3.2 3.4 now by by messing around with this and the fan speed I've managed to get to these settings where I'm more than happy for them to stay at that as you can see all the six bars are lit so my fan speeds are correct um, and it's now using what what appears to be about a third less fuel than what it was before so that's quite a quite a saving um, obviously with today's fuel price costs um, I basically ran it for an hour on each setting to try and see if it was um, going to throw one of these red lights but it didn't so um, I'm more than happy with that tuning um, quite a simple process to do so um, I thought I'd put this up to help anybody who uh, might be 
running their diesel heater at factory settings because this is definitely a fuel saving and over some time that's going to save a fair fair amount of money quite a significant sum so um so that was the point of today's video um, the next clip you'll see will be of um, a late night visitor um, I'll apologize in advance for the language but the video that I cut was me reviewing the CCTV footage um, to send to somebody else um, so apologies for the language and that but uh, you'll get the gist once you uh, once you watch it but uh, that's this section finished for the tune of the diesel heater and I'll add the other bit in after this so thank you very much for watching this um, enjoy the next bit it's uh, it certainly made me laugh a little bit since so I'm sat in the van your motor outside and I put the camera on him I'll zoom in proper weirdo so I'm looking at the bloke on the camera and I thought he's genuinely looking right in so I got out the other side and I walked up to him and he initially acted like he was the police and then when he was trying to find out supposedly what I was doing you might see him jump a little bit this is about the time where I got out proper weirdo they were really staring into the van here we go I'm here just <laughs> typical just can see my head so I was like what do you want and he's like I need to know what you're doing here I said it's got nothing to do with you mate and then I said, uh, I said, what do you want again? And he said, well, it's a bit tricky. He said, because I don't know who you are. I was like, mate, just say what you got to say. And he went, well, I'm here for sex. And I was like, well, you come to the wrong fucking place for that, Shady. So then he's like, trying to make small talk. I was like, mate, do yourself a favour and fucking jog on. Even there, he's still trying to make small talk. I was like, mate, do yourself a favour. Fuck off. Now, I'm pretty confident. But the wrong person, I think he would be a bit of a problem. So I'm keeping hold of that footage. <laughs> 